Jeez. This time I'm going to tweet at Jack, Jackbox. Thanks to our extensive network of surveillance cameras, which I haven't done in a while. In the world. Did you, know that Brad you could say that it has been a while. Sorry, a while. Can you believe we're still playing your game? <laughs> Can't wait till the four comes out. Pre-order now at Jackbox.com. Jackbox. Wait for us. It's okay. I'm waiting for season four. September eight. Oh. What percentage of people have returned to restaurants and businesses because they were? Have you been watching uh, Twin Peaks, Stuart? I have. I am three episodes behind, but I, I have. I have oh, that's watching. still that's still a thing that's happening. That's hashtag the return. Happening. No, I know. Yeah, they they, 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 they came back an, with it. It's but... eighteen episodes. They that Damn. which directed. Yeah, Would this include? It seems like the attitude kind of flips from this is weird and crazy and I don't know what it is to this is the greatest thing in the history of TV. Like, really, I don't think I don't oh, know that latter opinion yeah. existed. People, people really, people's opinions really changed drastically. It seems. I will say I have done that. Okay, there you go. This. Is this yeah, question? Oh yeah, same here. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought you would change your mind about how good Twin Peaks I don't think there's any doubt that you've done that, Stu. But I've done that. Oh crap! I lost. I some reason I missed. I my either I disconnected from Skype or something happened to Skype. Oh no, we're not going to have Skype problems, are we? No, it's just me. I... Uh, what? This I is can... this is a, uh, a question. conventional question. Something Noah, something Noah loves. I was sorry. How much time I have? I replaced Please. my website with a dirty picture. <laughs> Actually, when Pornhub becomes Cornhub or whatever, <laughs> it's pretty. That's good. No, there are definitely good jokes. Wait, they're good jokes? Alright. Mm. Why? It's again. Okay, right answer is Yeah. I have no idea by the way how how I secret intelligence into calling in a Yeah, it's not bad. Right. I'll tell you two years, about two or three years ago my my kids attempted to play a prank on me. They replaced my like I have my I may have told the story too, my my big jug of Arizona iced tea with uh Water with like food coloring in it that made it made it look like iced tea, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is you know very benign joke. It's, yeah, exactly. all, it's all good, but I came down in the morning and the first thing I usually do is take a big swig out of the jug. I'm the only one who drinks out of it in my family. Uh, what was the answer to my to mine? Sixty-eight. I have no idea. Yeah, okay, it was. So what the other way then? Um, and so the, I went downstairs and my kids were like, are you going to drink your iced tea, Daddy? Are you? Are you going to drink your iced tea? And they made it pretty obvious. So they were, yeah. They were not playing the cool. I can only do my left. And I'm going to demonstrate for you right now because this, because uh, we are I, I am on camera. That's right, you yeah. I can do my left. I can't raise my right al uh, right eyebrow. That's a little high. I feel like I feel like most people can't do that. I mean, I wonder if I wonder if Leonard Nimoy could uh, could have done it both either, or did he just do the same one every time? Imagine if Leonard Nimoy and the Rock had a kid. <laughs> It's got something to do with the question, it's just something that I like to mention. What percentage of people have done the chicken dance at wedding receptions? Oh, this is like a hundred? A hundred and fifty? Divided by it's two? Gonna, it's not a hundred percent because I don't, I don't do the chicken dance at weddings. So. Probably depends what religion you are, right? I mean, different. No, it's, it's a standard. <laughs> 
<laughs> do, you, do you do it on top of a chair that people are lifting? <laughs> uh, you have to make sure that the dances fall out. So, Stu, what do you what do what do you what do you think of Twin Peaks? Do you oh, think it's on. great or is what? <clears throat> it's ah. definitely weird. Uh, it's still it's still weird in your opinion. Okay. Yeah. That's really lowered back to it. I mean, I guess that goes without saying. That's what I guess, but. Oh, Alright, tweet it. Oh, I, I called you my dork clown pals. I'm going to search for... oh, I okay. Search. oh, I gotta log in. Oh yeah, we have zero viewers. He broke up. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know anything about this subject. Yeah, exactly. If you if you said uh, if you say yes, does that mean that you are or that you're not? Yeah. If I were to ask your friend, how would they describe your ability? <laughs> well, one of my friends always lies, and one of my friends always tells the truth. <laughs> what percentage of U.S. presidents believe they are convincing liars? Uh, what? 68%. Uh, uh, this is going to be actually higher. Mm. Anyway. Uh, that was a little high. Not that it would have gone too much. I'm a little lower. I'm a little high in the frame, I believe. I need to be lower in the frame. Can I? Oh, I can lower my seat. <laughs> you can do that. You can um, somehow increase the gravity under you so you get pulled down. Throwing darts. Hmm. I don't think about that That's for a year. Hmm. Not this year. Yeah, no. I don't know. That that is when you that is when you're bored with actually having a conversation with the people you're at the bar with. <laughs> or you could have it like in your in your, in your rec room or something. Right. Whoa. Nice guess. So suddenly we have, we have five viewers. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened. Oh, maybe because I because I tweeted. Is that could that be it? Wait, what? That could be. I don't could know. Be. No, no one pays attention to my Twitter feed. Anyway, if you are from my Twitter feed, say hello. I'm posting on the, the PSN community right now. Oh, do you need me to check? So Rachel always has has me sniff milk. This is driving me nuts at work. I can't fathom hmm. the idea that nice. people who are old enough to live on their own need to understand that you can't leave things in the fridge until they smell up the entire. <laughs> I mean, this should not be an adult problem. It, it's really. <laughs> Are you complaining about yeah, the smell in your fridge, basically? I'm complaining about the smell in my work fridge, okay, which smells like I'm a garbage sorry. dump constantly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Damn! It's yeah. never happened. I, no, I know you're wrong, so <clears throat> feel good. I mean, that's it's a little, that's a little, a little different because sometimes, at least in this case, it'd be like, all right, you got a jar of mayonnaise that's expired, and you're not gonna know that's bad until you actually open the jar. It's not going to smell up your, your fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're talking about smell so bad that... But smell so bad that you need to do something about it. Yeah. 
I don't feel so bad because I would have guessed. I would have said Bowler also. So instead of that, I didn't. Well, everyone should be ashamed of themselves. Although it's not <laughs> really as bad if it's your own house where you can do what you want as opposed to working. All right. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, so at work it's just not so much that they don't know, it's just that they're they're rude. How rude? Am I not logged into Twitch? Uh, how do I log in? And Surveil says thirty five percent. What about the parties where the sweaters are nice, but the I've never seems like the novelty of that would be like die off pretty quickly. Yeah. You mean you do, you personally like you do it once and then you're done or like at the cult, party in culture? Like, oh, your your sweater's a funny color. Yeah, but I, then it's not about that anymore. It's about it's just uh, a. <laughs> then what you do? <laughs> you you converse, or failing that you play darts. <laughs> but the, 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 it's an excuse to have a party, and then. It's not a. It's not a movie about that. With what letter does the most popular curse word begin? Really? If it's not those three that I chose, I'm kind of. I'm kind of confused here. See, I'm. I'm not sure if they're right. I can. I can. I can see one le other letter be. What's right. M? What curse word begins with M? Motherfucker. Yeah. Ah, but <laughs> George Carlin said that he made a mistake including both motherfucker and fucker in on the uh, <laughs> the words you can't say on television because they are the same thing. See? Okay. Yep. Nobody said C. I was the only one who said A for asshole. Who's my hero? Who's my hero? It's uh, or cock. Oh what? I pff, I have no idea. I was anywhere. I didn't have. I wasn't keeping track of the score. I guess I was busy making posts. Anyway, for the record, shit, yeah, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, post sucker, post motherfucker, tits. <laughs> there you go. And I tell you, I I learned I learned that because I did a comic about it. But um, I never. <laughs> not something you can you you often forget. You easily forget. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, sucker, motherfucker, tits. Okay, um, plug in. Sure. Am I logged in? Can I chat in the chat room here? Yeah, I am. Okay. You can communicate as much as you want on the internet. That's true. Reminder to all agents: the company picnic is this Friday. The time and location. All right, everybody, hop in. Everybody who might be lurking. And not actually counted in the uh, right. viewer stats. I don't know how you do that, but lurking hard or hardly lurking. <laughs> how many? What percentage of people have actually said that in an office? <laughs> to all agents, when you return... I mean, and, and like seriously, because I bet I bet a lot of people have done it ironically. I have uh, who knows. All right, how do I chat? It's hard to believe that any, like, cliche, terrible office grade comic was actually ever done in an office. Shit. I don't know how to do that. Uh, Whatever. Hang on a free branch. Hang in there. Stuff like that. <clears throat> Is that Scuba Gear? Uh, kind of. Remember the days when we would actually have more Espionage players? Whoa, whoa. We still get some Quiplash players, man. Uh, nobody joins us. At, it's already 11 o'clock. All right, let's go. Let's get going. Uh, we, we have people at work who say, like, happy what day of the week it is. Happy Monday. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> That's rather annoying. And they do it consistently, hope, like, every day of the week. Unless you're the fridge person, in which case I seriously... The die. fridge person. Uh, uh, what, what, what did I? What did I talk over you asking? 
I don't know, but I'm going to say that. <laughs> you realize it's not one guy responsible for the way your fridge smells. It could be, it could be multiple people, that's entirely possible. Wear dress are, shoes please. and close friends. Learn to adult. <clears throat> Well, I tell you, I have one pair of dress shoes, and I have, I consider one of you a close friend. So it's about, it's about equal. Yeah. Calculus for a woman is entirely different. <laughs> Women aren't so good with calculus to begin with. Now, hi! <clears throat> Woo. Or so, uh, James Damore? Is that how you should pronounce his name? As he would say. Damore? Uh, Damore? <laughs> I haven't heard it pronounced. Um, and, yeah, and I don't want to. <laughs> how do I watch myself play this game? Uh, this damn app. Oh, you, oh, yeah. Well, it all depends on how well my shower is draining. <laughs> my it's shower, all pipes. My, my, my uh, bathtub has not been draining that well for years now, so. And not like I did, ever did it regularly. But I have done it. I've tried it. But regularly? No, not regularly. Dude, there's so many, uh... It's a lot. Wow. I understand it's the same drain, but still. No, that was that was George Costanza's excuse. What's his excuse? It's all pipes. <laughs> oh, it's all pipes. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna type a test message to the chat room. What's that? What percentage of people have that? Yeah. Uh, whoa, okay. I feel like I've seen this number, like, in real life, and it was surprisingly high. Oh, the crowd's on the roll. High. Nice. Yeah. 66%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Um, okay. right, you're, you're taking, you're taking into account that the kind of people they ask are the kind I of people who, yeah, so, but still, I'm going lower. <clears throat> All right, only one of you thinks it's higher, and Surveil says... Oh, shit. Oh, I had 69, that changed it. Dang, you nailed that guess. Yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty good. Anyway, and I didn't think it was that high. Yeah, I think even if you pull like regular normal people, it's it's a high number if I remember what I heard correctly. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. Hashtag sporks. What percentage Whoa. of people have used sporks more than ten times in their lives? Okay, really specific number. What percentage of people act have kept track in a spreadsheet? Every yeah. time they use have used a spork. Yeah. Honestly, I mean. What do you all think? Higher or lower? I think uh, if you add it up all the times, I bet it's more than ten for me. But not because it's. It's a thing I that mean, I do. What, what, what specific occasion do you use this for? Oh, when you get, when you get, just, you know, take out at some place and they give you a... Oh, come on. Common. Damn. Wow. Not one third, it's cheaper. I some points. Yeah, I finally got some points this round. Well, if I move back... How many points do I have? Oh, I'm in third. Still holding the lead. 
What happened? Did your uh, did it just lag on you? Yeah. I was tapping on it and it wasn't taking for some reason. So you, you teleported across the court and. Uh, I guess so. Just puppies. What percentage of people find kittens cuter than puppies? Oh, this is this is gonna start a war. Um, <laughs> The answer, you know what? I, I'm I'm pretty much split. What do you guys think? Noah's a cat person, right? But yeah, well, you said you said oh. mostly. Really but you like think other people are? You think people are majority puppy person, puppy puppy people? Yeah. You could potentially prefer adult dogs, and you think that kittens are cuter than puppies. That is possible. Well, I've had baby kittens. <laughs> oh! Snap! Nice, he's got a 1% and zero. Leave, leave, leave it to uh, somebody's own cats. You don't own cats anymore, right? No? No. Yeah. Right. Um, so I can, I can visit your apartment now. <laughs> um, I had baby I had a cat that had a uh, litter of kittens, and it was, they were incredibly adorable. But I, I I actually do enjoy looking at puppy and kitten pictures on the on Facebook, and I, I can't I can't pick I can't choose. Nice. Um, we'll see how nice it really is. Well, I used to. I don't anymore. I'm I'm supposed to, but it never happened. Dean thinks way lower. And nails oh, it. So you're you're supposed to, to. What do you mean? Yeah. You just haven't gotten them yet. You opted out of it. No, I mean they told me months ago that this is going to happen, and that I don't care, so I never pursued it. I assume you know two years from now they'll show up. It's not yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, it was always kind of a stupid thing, and now it's an outdated thing. What percentage of people have ridden in motorcycle side Oh, I wish I had. That would be awesome. Um, what <laughs> it, would you prefer I that know. than actually riding a motorcycle? Pretty sure I've ridden on a motorcycle. I've never ridden on a motorcycle. I mean, we're probably going 10 miles an hour. I, I kind of miss the electric scooter that I had for a month. <laughs> what was it called? Was it Razor? Wasn't that? It wasn't Razor. No. That no. no, was Zooter. Zoot. Oh my God! I would never have pulled that out. Um, yeah, I bought. It was a thousand bucks, and I bought it just because they had a guaranteed uh, full refund after a month. Or it might have been even even been three, but probably one. So I bought it knowing that I would, yeah, knowing that I could return it, and the re return it I did, but I loved it for a month. Yeah, was it the same one that I had? The same did model? you have one? I didn't know you had one. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. How long did you have it for? Um, I'm trying to remember exactly how long. It's hard to say. It was, I was, yeah, yeah, I was uh, I was using it from your call to get to Sputnik 7. I'd take it across um, from 3rd Avenue over to the west side, and then I'd go down the path, the bike path on the west side highway. That's just, that's exactly where I took it from. Uh, you know, because when I went on the upper west side, then I took it, to, it was a beautiful ride down the bike path, up and down the bike path to uh, Union Square, where where I worked. And then, but the good thing, and then I, and I realized, um, well, I guess mostly I realized it wasn't, I didn't want to have spent a thousand bucks on it. Um, which in the grand scheme, oh shit, really? That, you, do you guys use cologne? You don't? I never, never, never in my life. Are you kidding me? Uh... Maybe that's why you guys are single. 
<laughs> I don't know. I uh, I've never actually I never used cologne um, until I was old and married. So that wasn't a direct result for um, of anything. But I just figured that's what people do. Hedy, I hear it's a magical place. Wait, none of you guys watch Shield, never mind. <laughs> I don't know if I could find Maldives on a map. Fantasize about visiting. Oh man. Um, really? Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't you think, isn't that a normal thing to do, though, to, you agree it's a normal thing to do, though, to use cologne, to do right? What? Cologne? Yeah. Yeah, not, not anymore. I mean, I think now the trend is body spray. Well, if what? If you do any of that. What do you mean? Well, okay, yeah. fine. Then have Stu or Dean use body spray? No. 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 No fragrance whatsoever. All right. Well, maybe the fact that I, I use it occasionally I do use deodorant. is the reason that I haven't gotten a girlfriend in the last in the last 20 years. <laughs> Congratulations, Noah, on the win. Right. But uh, just I just figured it's what people do. But anyway. No, so, yeah, I have, I have nothing against it. it. I just... You just don't? Like that's fine. I'm again. not, you know, I'm not judging. I'm just surprised. I thought, that just, I thought that's what people do. It's like... As normal as putting on deodorant, uh, which, by the way, I don't use. No. I do use deodorant, and I do. I, I use I, I use body wash, but not body spray. So like body wash. Well, body wash is just a replacement for soap washes. in the shower, right? Yeah. 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 And it's, it was less than fifty percent, right? So. Yeah, it was for like forty-six or forty-eight. Forty-eight. I mean, yeah. yeah wow. Open, close, just... Uh, as, as a popular item is, you know, is kind of uh, outdated in a lot of ways. Like it was a, just, yeah, but, but you're saying it's replaced by thing. something else that's similar. When when people are talking about fragrances, like on a date, I need to make sure I smell good. People will go, I'm going to get some cologne. They go, I'm going to make sure I use some. Spray. It's just the way it's sort of like you connect with that because cologne is considered a much more high high end item. Are you saying that millennials have killed off cologne? <laughs> Always the millennials. I think it's I'm the saying, cucks. I'm saying fragrance in general has kind of gone out of the mainstream and gone into a high end market. Are you talking and for that, about men or also women? Too? And I mean perfumes as well. Really? Yeah, oh well, think, I, I mean, don't think it has I mean, the same so mass market reach as it used to. I mean, you, you've got like, you know, we grew up in an age where like perfumes and clones were advertising on television constantly. When was the last time you've actually seen a perfume or a clone thing outside of normal perfume and clone channels? Right? Like, you're gonna open up some fashion magazine, you're gonna get it, obviously, but like. I is, thought you were talking about literal perfume channels. Like, what do I get? Is, this it, is on there my, a uh, Chanel my satellite? number five ads running on TV right now? No. <laughs> like I'm just saying, it's just it's a trend. Okay. But, you know, it's it's become it's. Uh, I know at least for perfumes, it's become sort of like a custom type of thing. It's it's yeah, gotten into sort of a space. space so. that, I think that's true. That when you know when someone went. When someone wears perfume now, I really know this, and it seems like, oh, what's going on with this person? You know that they have some sort of special occasion. Where, yeah. Yeah. Thirty years ago, it might not have felt like that. Well, so are like, you will. Oh, this woman. Uh, no, are you? She's wearing perfume. Are you allowing for the fact? So you're you're just making the dis distinction between actual colognes and perfumes, and like uh, like a spray, a body a body spray, like you said, um, from like Bed Bath and Beyond, right? Or or, um, or um, oh, Bath and Body uh, Works. Body works. That's what I meant to yeah. say. Bath, Bath and Body Works, right? Because that's the stuff yeah. that I like buy for Elaine occasionally as a stocking stuffer. Because uh, I like the way they smell. So I mean, yeah. 
I, I knew it. I think it's a, it's oh my something God. To add in that question. So are the two viewers that we have, that puts us literally at the bottom of the Jackbox Party Pack three streams? Seriously, no, we, need, we need to do something about that. All right, we got three now. Let's try, Let's what try guys, harder. What do you guys want to play? Uh, While well, we played two guests, yeah, right. we have. Well, we had the person last week who we said. Yeah, it was Papa Joe slash uh, three spams. If yeah, came back, right. we'd play trivia. We'd play uh, T TKO. But um, yeah, so let's it's, let's it's save that. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's four of us. Presumably, if not, unless somebody pops in, so we'll play Quiplash. Okay. It's really a shame that Die Hard Three was not called Try Hard. <laughs> try, try, try card. Was that a was that a Zoix card? Try card. Yes. Try yeah. Card okay. Was yes. By Joel, right? I can remember. I can picture it. Yeah. By Joel. Try card. Dean, Dean, Dean closed in on my rec. Came very close to beating me in the high school, overall high score. That must have happened last time, right? Because we just looked at this last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I did have a. I did have a big game. <laughs> nice. Um. Um, make sure I'm logged in. I'm, I'm annoyed that there wasn't a third analyze this sequel called Analyze the Other Thing. Right. <laughs> I bet they would have done that. They would have gone there. Yeah. X. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody looking in the chat room? Come on, join the game. Naked Gun two and a half and thirty three and a third. Is it trying too hard or is it funny? It's neither. Okay. It's not. It's, I don't. I don't think it was it's just, funny. It's just a thing that happened. It, yeah. No. It's <laughs> it's a thing that happened. I'm like, oh my god, they are it's so dorky. It's like it's the thing that happened. It fits. It fit the franchise. You know what? Well, I think okay. what was important about the franchise was that they just they just threw jokes out there, and if they, you know, half of them hit. And half the miss, and the ones you they, if they, if the joke misses, you just move on to the next one. So I think um, the, the titles of the movie were were included in that. I think that's yeah. where they get away with they, things. They repeated a lot of the jokes from the TV show, but of course, no one ever, no one no one really watched the TV show. But it was great. Police Squad. It was better. It was yes. better. Okay. Yeah, it's like ten episodes or something. Um, let's... six. Wow. Six. Wow. Six. Wait, six what? Six episodes total? Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think you could see them all on YouTube, actually. You could probably find them. But... Yeah. All right, off we go. There's that and a lot of OJ Simpson getting injured. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's Not great. Not the TV show. The movies. Yeah. They had some pretty good, uh, I remember they had a good George Bush impersonator. Uh, they had like a Queen Elizabeth impersonator. That's what I, those are the two things I remember from that. And the, and the O.J. Simpson. I'm to revisiting this in my retirement. This is round one. Yeah. The O.J. Simpson impersonator was amazing. He, he, he killed. It's simple. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You see? Make a joke like that and just move on. <laughs> Alright, moving on. <sighs> oh, Focus. Focus. There we go. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Well, I think it's still getting a little loopy because he got his answers in so quickly. 
We're actually all in. Noah was in the last one. He's under the wire. Hey. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means, but I love it. I love the way it sounds. Tipler. I like it though. Sip from a tipler sippy. I don't know that. I love. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Pretend you're from Alabama. I love that too. But it's. More conventional than frickin' Tipler. So what? Ex yeah, what the hell does that I mean? Love these I, 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 I like Dean's answer. Well, a Tipler is someone who drinks a lot and like a sippy cup. It actually, <laughs> some sort. It doesn't make logical sense, but it makes grammatical sense. <laughs> well, that's good. <sighs> Bang, bang, Maxwell silver penis went down on her head. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's, it's hard to choose between those two. I kind of, I kind of missed playing games with just the four of us because it's a little more intimate. <laughs> oh, no, with the sports. No, with the sports. No, so, yeah, no, it's intimate. It's like all these answers are just for us. It's, yeah, every joke is funny to us. Ah. <laughs> uh, Dude, do you remember this? Uh, I don't know. This is a really cool story. It's not that, not that interesting at all. But there was a there was a substitute teacher who was calling roll call during Hunter, and I think it was you were in my class when they when they uh, called out Benjamin Floor. Does that sound familiar, Stu? If it doesn't, then it's a really cool story. <laughs> <laughs> no answer at all. No. <laughs> Never mind. Dick hurts. So, what is 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 that is that the punchline? That pretty much the punchline. It was it was my name. Was it a real was it a real name or was it? Was it was my name. It was my name that they called Benjamin Floron. Uh, oh. and actually, and I, it, now that you say that, I remember the story, but I don't remember much else. I don't know. <sighs> I want to edit that out of the stream. These answers are bad. Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> 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 Noah actually was laughing at the at the correct answer this time. Yeah, the obvious answer is holy rollers, but 
that scene for. I would have liked it if it said it was just the Furious. <laughs> yeah, that would have <laughs> that would have been much more risky. He's not getting the joke at all. No, that's still. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think that, I that guess, gets yeah, the joke I think it's, I think. I think. Yeah. It probably would have worked. <laughs> okay. Okay. The one on the right is is like a it feels like a good dad joke. So no one wrote it. Well, which is appropriate. And I didn't, so uh Dean wrote the other one. Yeah, I called it. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Okay, next one. The one change churches could make that would probably get more people to attend. And <laughs> I think you can guess, guess who wrote who. Who wrote which one of us? Which one? I wanted to make a statue of Robert Lee joke today. Can on Twitter couldn't uh, find any exact words. I think no, it's, it's a good. Not... It's a good idea for a joke, but I think you didn't pick the right environment. Right. Had nothing, nothing quite appropriate. It is, a, it is a funny concept. Ooh, <laughs> I'll okay. say one thing. I, I um, was scrolling through all the. I just did a search for Robert, for like ESPN Robert Lee on Twitter, and it was nonstop conservatives complaining about it, you know, the ESPN's liberal agenda and, and snowflakes and all that stuff. I'll uh, continue the story in a second. Thought that one. Okay, here we go. But you were in. You went early. Well, not so early. Les squidérables. Look, squid boy. I kind of like that one. <laughs> no, wait. We have to choose three different answers, right? Gold, silver. No, two answers. You only get two? to choose two. They should make that clear on, on the screen here. Otherwise, I wouldn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Wait, <Squidward>. All right, I am going to give Look Squid one of my votes. <laughs> okay. I'm, good. I'm glad I changed my answer. <laughs> my, answer is very, my, my answer is initially very similar to yours, Mark. Yet I, my was my that was my problem. I was literally the same as his. I entered it with five seconds left, and it was like you can't say it, you can't use that. Someone else did, which I didn't even know could happen. Oh really? So yeah. <laughs> what were you what were you going for? Look, Squidward. Look, Squidward, Angel. I'm which afraid I don't know. Don't know that book. Uh, look, Homeward, Angel. No, I, I think that would have been. Bad answer, well, it would have been funny had I, you know, I have to have heard of the book first. 
Um, no, but the joke is Squidward. That's kind of what yeah. The joke is. Right, but I, I I would have had to have heard of the book in order to know why you were typing Squidward. And you, I'm not just making a random SpongeBob reference. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Stu, how is Lay Squidward overthinking? <laughs> yeah, that was good. No, because I initially because I, I was trying to because it was just eager saying the tail to squitters or squiddies or whatever. This lace squid goblin was funny. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's that's a reason not to wait till the last second. You can really get screwed on that. All right. Well, start a new room. I gotta get a new beer. And I'll finish telling my Robert Lee story. All right. Uh, Oh, mighty open. Oh, man. When is, when is the Thor movie out? It must be pretty soon, right? I was just going to say Thor Odinson. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's, um... Uh, November 3rd. Okay, so not that, that's... November, I think, right? November yeah. 3rd, yeah. yeah Directed by Taika Waititi, which is one of the uh, vacation yeah. uh, places most uh, people want to visit. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about that one. The trailer looked good. I mean, did you ever see What We Do in the Shadows? I think that's his name. I did not. I don't it. know anything about it at all. It's great. It's, um, I, I think it was, I thought it was supposed to be largely improvised, but it's, um, mockumentary, uh, fake documentary, uh, about vampires in Australia, I want to say. It's got one of the, uh, one of the Flight of the Concords guys. So, uh, and Z and two other Z Z Z Z likely. Yeah, I guess so then, yeah, because some of the... Terrific. Whatever. I can't, can, I can't remember those bad names. Um, and it's very fun. Very good. Uh, we didn't acknowledge that Noah won the game. Well, I didn't, so congratulations. On oh, yes. Win. Yes. Um, of course, so, of course, doesn't sound like it has anything to do with Thor. But anyway, go ahead, Bray. Well, what were you talking about, Thor? Uh, that the director did a good mockumentary about vampires in New Zealand. Director of Ragnarok? Yes. Yep. Mm. So as I was saying, I was doing, uh, I did a search for Robert Lee and there was, right, so as sure. I said, and this is when I was said saying in Slack that the conservatives were having a field day uh, with it saying that just another, another example of uh, ESPN's liberal agenda and the fact that this is the you know the future that liberals want, where where every everything is a trigger, and if they're you know all there's such snowflakes that they can't handle a ref, you know someone being named after a Confederate general. Um, sure. But nobody, like not one of them, was being like overtly racist to the. To, about the fact that this guy's an Asian, like, you know, this haha, look at this, you know, ugly chink or whatever, making, making, uh, making anything, any well, insults hopefully. about it. But they were actually, I mean, they were using it, I mean, partially because they were using it as, like, haha, ESPN is racist against Asians now, you know, um, right. th this, um, and like they were, they were, they were kind of defending this dude. Um, until I realized that a lot of the points was, and a lot of the points, was how can you possibly con confuse uh, this, you know, this guy who lived <coughs> 200 years ago and um, an Asian guy. Like, and so there was kind of like, what I picked up was like some implicit, you know, implicit racism, the fact that the Asians are just so far like you know completely exotic and different from an american you know what i'm saying um hmm. so 
I don't know. You know, I pick up on those on things like that. Maybe maybe other people wouldn't, but um, maybe you could say I'm trying to find racism in these in in these comments. But you know, my first thought was like, okay, hey, nobody's shitting on this guy because he's Asian or making fun of him because he's Asian. They were they were like they were they were on his side, kind of. Um, right. But anyway, right. but it doesn't seem like we're getting anybody any new people for this. So. <clears throat> No, not for this game right now. So, and it is 11:30. It is with the witching hour. But let's let's uh, start up. But that being said, I have no problem with the uh, with the principal getting back to Thor. If you can direct movies, you can direct movies. You know, I'm not. I wouldn't require that he have done a, you know, well, that's me. I'm an action movie. Hey, yeah, and, and, but it's, it's, very, it's, often, it's, very often it's more interesting. If, you know, he was very good at mixing a lot of sensibilities, different, you know, different mm -hmm. sensibilities at the same time, and I think it's like promising for like. Hey, you've got something that's got a lot of fantasy and it also wants to also occasionally be funny and be yeah, able to try to do that without it just being like this constant flipping but actually do it in some way that it always tracks together yeah um, i think this guy has a particular knack for it uh, so maybe it'll work i mean you know <laughs> so much so much of it is written and planned by marvel but you really can't give the directors too much credit for what they do on those movies right they just kind of like make sure that the boat doesn't crash, you know, they're steering the boat in the sense that just making sure it doesn't crash into the rocks, but it's not like they're really like at the helm. this well now it would probably be getting hit on constantly what did he come out he what? Might have buy? Next one, oh i didn't I know that what like vault no, that's nick More carter just to buy for nick carter that was Bieber. nick carter did or some is that his name nick carter. is it nick carter yeah i don't know the same difference <laughs> oh, damn, one of them is famous and the other one isn't. It's racist. <laughs> I'm trying to be controversial. Get to that if, any, if anything, I think he's been, he's been... He's been Christian. He's been, like, into Christianity lately, I believe. <laughs> I realize not all Christians think that homosexuality is wrong. But... Hashtag not all Christians. Yeah. Ah, no, many, many, many sides. Uh, Dean, I liked your answer. Mine was a little weirder. Next up. 
But yeah, I needed, I needed, I needed more time. Obviously, he died on the toilet, and that was a joke. But, but that that was my that was my joke. Where my joke came from, too, uh, in my pants. Whatever. I think just... I think when I got that, I when I got when I actually got that first last time, I think I said Elvis has left, has left the living. Oh, oh yeah, that was not good. too bad, not bad. Yeah, that was good. That's clever. That's round one. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I see. So there was a there was a parody thing that leaked out that got circulated as like a real story about oh, okay. what happened. In other words, fake news. Fake news. How am I winning this game? This is this is dumb. <laughs> but Stu, Stu's joke, I assume, is that they're both Canadian. Yes, exactly. Okay. I was uh, trying to actually add the words fellow Canadians in there, but I ever had no room. <clears throat> Seven seconds. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I lost my lead. So <laughs> <laughs> you may go up against me. I got a Oh, that's so sad. This just makes me depressed. I'm not laughing at this. <laughs> I'm very depressed right now. Yeah, I was trying to think of like, uh, everyone gets, you know, ice cream or whatever, but I kept coming back to actual political jokes. Yeah. Like the, the oh, more so Hillary better or worse than probably worse. The more Hillary opens her mouth, the less sympathetic she gets, by the way. Yeah, I don't know about um, I'm this. Interested, I'm interested to see her book, even though it's probably just more funny. But... <laughs> <It's voting time>. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty good. That was not bad safety quip. Because beard trimming sure. could look like yeah, whatever. Yeah, I was almost gonna type Mark Ruffalo. I had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, say, I knew I voted for Bernie's, but it's. I don't know whether I should write Vamu the or D Mu D. They're both stupid, but one is more. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Um, how to read the, all right, well, I'm not, I'm going to go for the, uh, afraid I'm going to go for the simpler one. Right, An academic field of study in there, so actually books about that. Weird technicality. You survived round two. Let's see if Hashtag, we should, we should start a discord for all our fans uh, called the weird, where we discuss weird technicalities. <laughs> Oh, so close. 
was the score? Yeah, I haven't checked zero the, oh, I can check the so stream you, lag. Yeah, it's a weird check to Kali that they were about, about reading the Bible, but that it's okay Stu for the Bible ahead. itself. <laughs> Anybody's game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe it's in the reference section. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I had, I had less than nothing on this. Wow, yeah. this is so Same hard. All right, Same here. Here. Shit. Your medal now. Oh, but my... F <sighs> <laughs> All right, no, I like I like some of some of the others, not mine. Dang, is that gonna bump in my bed? Uh. My clear favorite. It's bump. It's bump. It's bump. It's in my bed. Head. I like the idea that the uh, Dead Island song is a hit song. <laughs> Why did I get so many points? Mine was terrible. He definitely passed me. So. Oh, it's bump. It's bump is good. And we're finished. Show me those final it's bump. It's bump. It's bump. It might be Dean, dead. Dean got it. Oh, yeah. snap. Um, so very close. Very so very close. Good job. Well done. I should have well changed. I should have edited it to say people I want to bump in my bed. What? No, I like your, your yours was a yours was a straight Dead Island reference, which I which is why I voted for it. Um, <laughs> well, I was thinking of it as an original song. I wasn't even thinking of a Dead Island reference. Honestly. Yeah. What? <laughs> you wrote things that go bump in my bed, and it was not a Dead Island reference. <laughs> I'm not thinking of it as Dead really. Island. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it was just man. it was just by serendipity a Dead Island reference. Wow, okay. If there's a time to make a Dead Island reference, it's, 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 it's a game that would be <laughs> only the four of us. <laughs> okay, well, we still have like zero viewers aside from uh, the two that, that are me and whoever else is tuned in, whoever else is, of us is tuned into the stream. So uh, go again or just give up? I could do one more. One more. I'll go again. And I, and okay. If, if no one else comes, we call it a night. <clears throat> yeah. I, did, I did not play. realize it. Go ahead. That Mark Leiter Jr. is pitching for the Phillies. That's it. Go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> Mark Leiter Jr. Currently pitching yeah. for the Phillies? Well, if he's... <laughs> If he's half yeah. as good as Mark Leiter Sr. was, then <laughs> yeah. uh, he'd be pretty bad. <laughs> yes. Oh my gal, who was good. Were they related? They were, right? Weren't they? Mark and Al? Yeah, yeah they were yeah. brothers. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, well, I think we're, we're just going to go because no one's showing up. Okay. Well, we missed your three spams, Papa Joe. You were yeah, gonna have us right. uh, have us play uh, something different. All right. Hey, I'm Schmitty, and I completely.
completely forgot what I'm doing here. Oh, Quiplash, right. Quiplash. <sighs> hey, good looking room. The people in it can use a little work, but the room is gorgeous. <laughs> this is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Okay. <clears throat> ah, someone just joined the chat room. Silly Amoeba. Hey. Um, yeah, too bad you joined right as we were starting the DR next game. But, uh, let me think about my answers here. Means oh, I'm gonna lose one vote, so four <laughs> three. <clears throat> What's up, Sully Amoeba? You itching to play with us? Because we've been itching to have somebody join our game. Feel free to join our audience. Please join our audience and uh, help help us vote, vote up uh, and vote for my answers. <laughs> Be the tiebreaker you want to see in the world. This question. Put in your votes. Hmm. Hmm. Voting for it, but I'm not sure what you're getting at here. What are you getting at? Why is there different versions of this? Is that, is that part of the story? Giant was trying to kill him? Uh... Yeah. List, yeah, wasn't he? Because Jack stole his shit. This would be your campaign song. It's just got the goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. This and I know Stu's... This is a rare atmosphere where things like this actually work. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and no, obviously Stu wrote the Billy Joel song. And obviously oh. I wanted to vote for work, so that was a bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> I told uh, you it was a complete troll. Uh, I'm giving it to Stu because I, because you said that, dude. I had to balance it no, out. That's that's fair. That's fair. I had to balance it out. But I figure it's a campaign mm -hmm. song, "River of Dream." Just the name of the title. Get the fact that it's a Billy Joel song. Yeah, it's a good. It does sound like the title of a campaign song. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for getting me to do that. <laughs> so the two streams were ahead of like I think there is like an like a strange amount of people watching Jackbox Party Pack 3 tonight. There was 830, 880 viewers total. Wow. For, you know, across all to, all streams. And there's 74 Wildlands, 15, use your words, zero huh? disc, disc jam, zero. Five, three on three, but 880 Jackbox yeah, 3. That could be, that could very well directly lead to nobody checking out our stream because it's so low.
Oh my god, I don't know. Oh. Damn it! Oh. Yeah. Terrible answer. Let's start this terrible. Our first prompt is yeah. a terrible advice from a driver's ed instructor. Terrible. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. <laughs> pretty hard to drive that way. This is a question where there's a lot of possible answers. I think it's a good question. Coming up next, what are chicken nuggets really made out of? Ready, set, boat. Gotta get my nugs. That may be the dumbest thing ever to happen on Twitter, which is really saying something. What? What the are you talking about? Like, if, you, if you tweet me 500,000 times, I'll get a lifetime supply of chicken nuggets. You know about this? No. I think it may be the most retweeted thing in the history of Twitter. Say no, what? The, uh, Obama's, the Obama's thing was. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right. In the previous record, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I posted. What are you even talking about? I'm about to post it. <laughs> ah, these are both uh... <laughs> That's a really dumb name for a barber shop. Is that what you were laughing at? Yes. <laughs> I can I couldn't understand why. <laughs> but <laughs> you're laughing at it's the same thing i'm laughing at what fog right yes i know I, I like it what just because duck liver is unhealthy <laughs> it's so unhealthy yeah all right no i like it i like it i i yes i i did not i would have rejected any votes that my answer got i hated it so much yeah that was a tough that's the type of thing where maybe give it a few minutes if you come up with something but yeah Oh no, yeah, I could just, you know, I just maybe choked. You could say I just choked. Foie gras taster. I love, I love the liver, but I uh, don't like foie gras. I need like, I need like sauteed liver, hot. 16 calories per tablespoon. Maybe that's not that, that bad, I don't know. 20 milligrams of cholesterol.
Oh my god. I hate this game so much, I want to stop playing. <laughs> I need to stop playing this game. <laughs> oh my god. These are all terrible. Yeah. I hate I hate all of you. I hate myself the most. One one of these is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um I, I just wish maybe it would cause the game to have the same problem that user words has, but I just wish it was a little more time to play. Uh, you had a you had which one you're thing. calling is good. Probably the one he wrote. Good. Yes, that's the joke. Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. Ow, that's the joke? Alright, it was too good of a... must have been too good a joke for me. I was... I was my, the Jackie in, in this, my answer is Jackie O, because her husband was shot. <laughs> okay. That was what I was... that was the best that I had. And I didn't want to put the O because you guys would have complained about the weird technic technicality. <laughs> well, that somehow was, Dean just killed us off. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I just... Okay. Oh, I... Words. It's like five, like five seconds and I had nothing. No, oh, I... yeah, I... Uh... You didn't have to answer Burke Dean to win that game, so... <laughs> Hated. Did I win? You won yeah. by a lot. You almost doubled up the runner-up. Not quite, but I think you... Uh, wow. It was like 7,200 wow. to 40 something hundred. Ah, well, good thing I had that lead. Cause... Yikes. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, mm. nobody's joining us tonight. So, yeah. we will oh, forget this ever Silly happened. Amoeba. Silly exactly. Amoeba, we exactly. love you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do appreciate... The effort he took, typing A with all those Y's. Sure. Um, and that's <laughs> that's it. You know, it's not nothing, not nothing. But okay, our it's close, but it's not we <laughs> are we done? You guys want to play again? Because I could. I would be mad. Right. I was. For that. You guys want to play three on three? Uh, yeah, I could. Hmm. I'll play a little. Okay. okay. Play three on three. Oh snap! This is special. You guys, you guys are on the stream. Are in for a treat? Are you gonna keep streaming? Uh. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, what? we we, we would have we would have higher placement. <laughs> in uh we would be what number stream would we be uh all right yeah so i'm closing this application